Hey everyone, I'm Noah from the Super Gamer Bros, and welcome back to another episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Tower Endings. In this episode, we're playing as Johnny Cage. I'm not spending a crazy amount of time playing as Johnny Cage, I just know a good amount of stuff. See, I may not have the combos. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know anything about the star power. I'm just trying to use Kano to combo. Oh. If you didn't know, um, Smoke, I'm pretty sure, is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, who voices uh, Spider Man in uh, Spider Man the Insomniac video game. Good night, Asol. Spider Man PS4 and you know, Miles Morales and Spider Man 2. Very excited about that. I'll probably play Spider-Man 2 on the channel. As you can see, I have not played Johnny. He's level 0. Take one. See, I gotta practice that. I see other people do it. I've never done it. A little bit faster, huh? Are <laughs> she you took the hit this? through the teleport. Too slow again, okay. Ah! Still too slow. Oh. Yeah, bring it. Boom. Johnny Cage wins. That's very hard to time the Kano knife. I've never hit it. I don't even know why I wanted to try it. I should have just went with Frost or Sonya or Serena. Serena would probably be way better, actually. Okay, okay. I did the Kano ball and accident that time. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Maybe next time. Take two. Action. Ah. Johnny Cage wins. 
I wish there was an easier way to unlock brutalities other than just leveling up. Take one. Action! My combos are not quite there with Johnny. Again, I've not played him that much. I've seen a lot of gameplay of his, and I think it's just technical. It's going to require practice for the timing on everything. And he's got so many combo paths. A lot of characters do. Take one. Action. What? It's like I didn't know that was ever good. Really? He was going to block, and I was going to go for Final a take. Action. I had a little combo there. I actually did some hits and finished it with a special move and hit him with the Kano knife, but only mid combo. The trick is hitting the Kano knife at the end of the combo when you do a nut punch to continue it again. That looked like it was right. <laughs> Got him. He doesn't have um, a projectile, but he does have meterless combo. Like all over the place so if he gets in it's pretty over and he doesn't need to spend his meter so he can use his meter for the armored guard see that's something Kato okay God. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Swamp T is so weird in this game. Since this whole thing kicked off, I'd wondered why Liu Kang chose me to be a champion. I mean, sure, I was killing it as a martial arts star, but it's one thing when it's all for show. It's different when you're playing for keeps. Then Liu Kang let me in on his master plan. He wanted the masses to know about the world beyond them, the one filled with gods and monsters, and he wanted me to tell him about it. But I knew revealing the truth all at once would be too shocking of a plot twist for most. That's why I pitched doing a bunch of stories to slowly get people used to it. And if there's one thing I can do besides kick ass and combat, it's build a cinematic universe. That I'm is so movies, funny. Streaming series, games, you name it. I like that I'm doing a public service. And it doesn't hurt that I'm making more than a few bucks. It's the kind of synergy that would make any studio mogul proud. Is that true, Ed? <laughs> all right. I think that's a great ending. Again, they're all very positive. I'm really liking them. Um, so if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.